This is a call that was made to Alabama Supreme Court Judge February 13, 2015 about a lifestyle to where no families come, can come out of it. On top of that, it makes it to where the kids are so confused they don't even know how to even find a mate or even keep a mate. On top of that, transgender now, there's somebody in the Philippines by the name of G-I-N-A Rosso, of where she used to be a boy, and now she turned into a girl. And I'm just wondering, what would that do if a man was courting somebody who he thinks is a female and turns out to be a male? So what kind of reaction would be out of that? So anyway, here it goes. Yes, is this the uh, Alabama Supreme Court uh, office? Uh -huh. How you doing? How you doing? Um, who am I speaking to, please? My name is Angie. Angie what? Angie. Okay, Angie. Um, uh -huh. I'm in support of Alabama Judge William Earth about him rejecting a lifestyle called homosexuality of where that no life can ever come out of it. If you put two male rats in a cage, what do you get? Okay, I can put you through to his office. I, Angie, I greatly appreciate that. You're welcome, just one moment. St. Andrews. I even bought a book from you. Uh, it was very interesting about how you used a tape recorder to protect yourself. Called So Help Me God. I created a YouTube video. It's called Alabama Judge Rejects Six Sick Homosexual Lifestyle. So all you have to do is go to Jim Bikeman, Alabama Judge Rejects homosexual sickness. I agree with you, and there's no way. I would, I would like, just like you had the Ten Commandments put out, and you refused to take them out of the Alabama um, Supreme Court, um, I suggest that you put a cage of male rats and female rats, and have that as a display. Because male rats, it's very easy to tell tell from a distance which one's the male and which is the female. And this will give an idea to people who come in showing a cage with male rats and then one with female rats and then showing one with male and female together and see which one produces offspring. Judge Roy Moore, I salute you. I command you, well, let's put it this way, the judges who, federal judges, who are deciding to push this lifestyle of where no family can come out of it, of where the little kids can never know how to be able to attract the mate, and it's even gone so far as transgender. There's somebody by the name of Gina Rosso, G-E-N-A-R-S-C-O-E, who used to be a boy, from the Philippines has now turned into a female. Now what does it do to a man if he thinks he's courting somebody who he thinks is a female and turns out to be a man? What does this do? What kind of secret uh, uh, things are they teaching in school to kids that the parents don't even know about so that kids won't even know the right way to even have a healthy lifestyle? So um, I'm just hoping that you will go to YouTube, type in Jim Bikeman, 
Alabama judge rejects homosexual sickness. And this is of, uh... Called so help me God. I've created a YouTube video. It's called Alabama Judge Rejects Six Sick Homosexual Lifestyle. So all you have to do is go to Jim Bike Alabama Judge Rejects Homosexual Sickness. I agree with you, and there's no way I would Would that be possible? Yes, 
It's absolutely amazing when a person tries to reach somebody. First of all, they've got these telephone answering machines right now, which I firmly b believe the reason why you don't get anybody immediately is because they're tracing every call as if somebody happens to be a whistleblower or a troublemaker, even though they care about America. I also find it interesting, I didn't feel any compassion out of this person right here. And I felt like basically I was talking just to a robot. 